What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's having a great day. Today we are taking the S650 on its first road trip. We're gonna take it down to Orlando, Florida, here from Georgia, and I wanna see how good the gas mileage is on the new GT here. Now, what I've been experiencing over the last like 5,000 miles that I have on this car is that I'm averaging around like 17, 18 MPG combined. And that's a lot of city driving with some highway to work. But this trip is gonna be the majority highway, and so I'm really curious to see if we can get on the top end of what the GT is rated for, uh, which I believe is mid-20s. And of course, we're probably gonna have a little fun with the car anyway, so it's not gonna be perfect. I'm not gonna be babying it the entire way, but I thought it'd be interesting to see because I did a video like this on my EcoBoost when I had it. That thing we got like 28, 29 MPG in, as you might expect. But anyways, it's about five o'clock after work now, so I gotta go get everything in the car, load it up, and then we're gonna hit the road, and hopefully the Atlanta traffic isn't as bad as I think it will be. It's probably gonna be, it's gonna be pretty rough, so. Anyways guys, I'll meet you in the car and we'll reset the trip, get on our way. Cold start. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you ready for vacation? Ready. Ready. All right. Ready for the pool? <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Yeah, I figured we're going on this little vacation for a kind of a weekend trip, and I figured. Why not test the gas mileage out in this thing and make a video on it for you guys? Not that you buy a GT for the gas mileage, but you know, it's something to consider when you're- it's the comfort plus. Economy plus? Mm, for the discerning passengers. It's the comfort plus. We didn't want to rent another car, so we're taking this one. Anyways, let's see what we got here. So average for this, this trip that I've been, I've had going for a while here is 17.4. See, there we go. So my uh, fuel economy average is 17.6. Not very good. <laughs> yeah. This is the worst. <laughs> But I've been having quite a bit more fun with the car uh, lately, so that's probably why. But this will be interesting because it's, it's gonna be a ton of freeway, so we'll see. Range, filled it up last night, only went a few miles. We got 250 miles uh, for the tank, which also, compared to other cars I've had, is not, not great as well. <laughs> but this one's the only one with the V8 in it, so, you know, there's that. Anyways. Guys, let me reset it right now. I'm gonna reset this one. We'll reset this trip here, and then we can kind of keep tabs on this. Throughout the uh, the journey to Florida, so we're going there for a little weekend getaway, and yeah, we'll just see what the gas mileage is and see if we can have any fun with this thing on the ride there. As long as we get there fast. Well, yeah, we're taking the quick car, you know. How <laughs> else we take that Jetta with 200,000 miles? I don't know if she'd make it back. She probably would not, <laughs> but. Anyways, all right, let's go. Well guys, we made it through Atlanta. You guys probably saw that we had a bunch of traffic as we we kind of expected but it wasn't it wasn't too terrible just a quick update we're at the culvers getting some dinner here we have about 212 miles of range left here and we're getting 23.9 mpg we've gone only 117 miles so we haven't gone that far uh but i've been averaging like i don't know once it opened up we were doing like 80 85 65 100 percent of the time right anyways that's the little update for now we're gonna go get some dinner I have to fill up here one more time before we actually get there. But that's that's where we're at. We'll see what we get. A few minutes later. Tendies acquired. Dun dun. The little pearls of gold. Pearls of gold. And she's a Culver's <laughs> connoisseur, guys. That's for sure. But you guys might be freaking out like I am slightly. 
She wants to eat in the car. I am going to be careful. Well, do you want to sit here for like an hour while I eat? Because God knows I eat so slow. I'd be here for days. I probably would. But... Oh my God. Jesus. Do you do this one? You have to have a napkin bed. A napkin bed. <laughs> Okay, now I've been debating which way to go with this car, and I grabbed my seatbelt, but I don't have another arm to actually belt it, so I'm gonna let that go again. I've been debating which way to go with this car. As for power, guys, I gotta ask you, no. should we do, <laughs> should we do headers? Should we do headers? Naturally aspirated build headers? Or should I save every penny I ever get for a long time and go with a Whipple kit with a warranty. 36,000 mile warranty. The problem is with installation, you guys know it's super expensive. 12 grand for that supercharger kit. Megan just kinda, she just she just freaked out a little bit. 12 grand, that's probably not gonna happen. However, how cool would a supercharger be on this thing, man? It would give us that low end torque we wanted from the Whipple, that would be freaking awesome, but it might be a little bit too much for the street. Let me know guys, any of you S550 owners with headers, we wouldn't be able to tune this car unfortunately for the foreseeable future, but headers, I've been seeing that they've been picking up like 30 wheel horsepower out of them, instead of Cook's headers, it's still a couple grand, but I think it would be a nice step forward for a little bit of a power gain with this car. Man, just kind of sucks, I'm like, 12 grand for a Whipple? A 12 grand vacation. <laughs> this is definitely not a 12 grand vacation that we're going on right now. Well, so. not this one, but maybe like Hawaii. But if we spend 12 grand and 12 grand, that's 24 grand. No. We might as well just buy the Whipple for 12 grand. We're saving 12 grand on that baby. Done deal on the road. <laughs> Well guys, we are at our first fill up spot here. I guess I should show you where we are in terms of gas mileage, but we are at around 24 MPG, actually. 23.9, because I got on the wrong road and had to turn around and did a mild acceleration uh, to get back onto the right, the right track. Um, so anyways, yeah, we got about 24 mpg, which is pretty good. I believe in the EcoBoost we were getting around, I thought it was like 28 on the freeway. So this isn't that much worse on the freeway if you're being kind of conservative. But as soon as you get on it, you know, obviously it's sucking a lot more gas. But anyways, yeah, we made it, I don't know how many miles, 303 miles. And we got 51 miles to uh, empty. So that's pretty good considering originally when we left, the gas gauge read like 240 uh, miles per tank. So pretty interesting there, but we're gonna fill up. We are probably gonna drive like another hour and then that's gonna be it for the night. We got about two hours then in the morning uh, to get onto the road here. So quick fill up, we'll be back on the road and then over to the hotel. And that should do it for today. Boys, we made it to the Comfort Inn. This trip was longer than I thought. Yeah, it did look shorter. Ah, 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 ah! Whew. All right, yeah, we made it. It's time to get some sleep. And then two hours tomorrow, we'll be there. And uh, I'll give you an update on the mileage, I guess, in the morning. It hasn't really changed, so there's nothing to really, nothing to really say. Ready for bed? Ready for bed. <laughs> Ready for bed. Good night. Approximately 10 hours later. What's going on guys? Welcome back here this morning. We have about a two hour drive to Orlando. We, a couple hours this morning. As you guys saw last night, we weren't able to make the whole trip in one shot because we were getting a little tired and figured we'd hit the road nice and kind of early today, but well rested and ready for the day. So we are back like you saw uh, yesterday. We were getting about 24 mpg being conservative on the highway but as you guys know we didn't buy the car to get um, great mpg so today i'm not sure if i'm gonna have the patience to just kind of you know take it easy with the car and kind of milk it for that mpg 
So we might have a little bit more fun today, which will probably be a little bit more fun for you guys as well. So a couple hours left, let's hop in the car, bang those hours out, and then uh, we'll be at our destination. We'll show it to you guys where we're staying and what we're doing, and uh, we'll see what MPGs we get, but we might have a little bit more fun. So let's go. Ah, uh, yeah. Good Mustang morning. <laughs> That's how I should say, I should uh, start every morning. Good Mustang morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Hold on tight. sure if I showed this or not in the front end I don't think so but we've murdered quite a few insects bugs all that crap on the way down here last night and I don't want it to sit on the paint for the last two you know the next two days that we're on here so there's a little car wash over here I guess it's touchless I haven't ever taken this car through an actual car wash yet I've always hand washed this thing so I guess the second best thing would be a touchless wash, you know, but I got to get these bugs off here. Really don't want them baking in the sun, but I have it in drag strip mode right now. And uh, let's just see. Let's go here. <laughs> I just like the tires freaking squealed right next to that guy's truck. <laughs> Whoops. Oh well, yeah, we're having more fun with the car now. We're still getting like 23 MPG, guys. Not too terrible. But man, yeah, that was fun. We need us. We need a supercharger. We need. We need the freaking Whipple, man. Everyone donates two bucks out of 7,000 subscribers. Think about that. That's probably it right there, boys. What do you think about that? Put it in the comments. I mean, not really. You don't have to, but maybe. I don't know. Thank you. All right. No brushes. <sighs> this is nerve wracking. I have not taken my car through this yet, and I don't, I never wanted to. He says brushes are off, but I don't know, man. They still look like they're on. I mean, if it is, it is what it is. But God, please no. They're still kind of touching it a little bit. But not really. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm nervous for you. I'm kind of scared. I'm like, I don't want it. It's ceramic coating. It should be somewhat okay. But... All right. No brushes are used. That's cool. All right. I'm feeling better. Oh my God, guys. I was like, because if I end up with a bunch of squirrels on this, I'd be so pissed. I'm good. Good. Yeah, thank God, no, no brushes, man. All right, all the bugs have been removed successfully from the front end of the car. I just did a real nice, I had some quick detailer I used, so I feel better about it, and it'll be all right leaving it for a few days in the parking lot. So, whew, all right, 20 minutes, and we're there. You ready? Ready. We're finally ready, let's go. <laughs> Well guys, there is the parking setup for for the car for the next few days. We made it. We're staying at this Dolphin Hotel here at, uh, it's not a Disney hotel technically, I don't think, but it's like super close. I mean, all the parks are right nearby. Anyways, yeah, we got it parked up. <laughs> you know, two of the, the four sides are protected. So about as good of a chance here, right? <laughs> to, <laughs> yeah, to keep it safe, so. And we managed to get most of the bugs off the front without scraping the crap out of it. There's still a few. Oh, where am I? There's still a few down there. But it's better. It's going to bake in the sun, though. So we'll see. Hopefully that ceramic coating does its job and we don't have any big issues. But yeah, guys, we made it.
Well guys, that is gonna be a wrap on the little weekend vacation. We're all done, we're walking back to the car right now. But that was a super fun little couple days. Now we're heading back to the car here now. And um, yeah, we'll try to, I don't know, we'll try to get the best gas mileage we can. But we got about eight hours and I wanna make it back. So I might be speeding a little bit, but we'll see. There we go, and we're back. I tried to park all the way in the back. We still got someone that parks next to us, even with all these open parking spots. Now, I take it it was filled up last night, but overall, I don't think we had any damage. I was kind of looking at the car a little bit, so thank God. Still have eight hours left, though, so cross your fingers that we, uh, we get it back safe and sound. But yeah, we'll monitor the gas mileage on the way back, and then we'll connect with you uh, at home, and we'll see what it did overall. But we're definitely having a little bit of fun on the way home and uh, make up some, some time here. So let's do it. And just like that, we are back at the house. We hit a ton of traffic on the way home uh, yesterday, which as you can expect, Sunday leaving Orlando, coming back up to the Atlanta area. It was pretty crazy. So our you know overall speed wasn't super great there, but we did um, you know 968.5 miles and uh you know 23.6 mpg and that was me not being completely conservative you know when i was able to have a little fun i obviously did so but i will tell you what it is pretty cool seeing the the actual range amount there go up i think it was saying 360 miles on a tank of estimated range which i'll be honest with you guys that has not been the case for a very long time almost since when i purchased the car i get about 250 something 260 miles uh estimated range to a tank right now because i do more city driving than highway but man if you're taking the gt on the highway it actually does pretty decent for gas mileage um, if you're not romping on it all the time. So guys, with that being said, thank you so much for coming along with us, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, little laid back video here, showcasing the gas mileage on the new GT. Definitely not like what the EcoBoost got. The EcoBoost got quite a bit better MPG, but that being said, we got eight cylinders instead of four. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys have a great day. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.